We have a big one today. First episode, El Tito Podcast. <laughs> Super mega pulling up on us. Go. Hey, man, what's going on? Yo, 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 I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take five. Yeah, yeah, take five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sully. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the El Tito podcast. The man on my right doesn't need no introduction. Yes, sir. But guess what? I'm going to give it to him either way. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome <laughs> to Keenan Jared Forbes, a.k.a. the third world boss, a.k.a. Yes, Balva. Let's give him a countdown. Ten, AKA, nine, uh, eight, uh, <laughs> seven, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, one. one. Yeah! Yeah, man. Damn. Shout out for the Somizi intro. <laughs> <laughs> I think Somizi did that in Durban. I had a gig now the other day yeah. in Durban, and he was the host as he is for many of these things. Uh huh. Let's give him a countdown. <laughs> Ten. Uh, where, where in South Africa did that sh- that's the start? I wonder. <laughs> this is a nice setup you got going for yourself, nah, brother. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Nice, man. Nice. I'm proud of you, man. Nah, thank you. This is long overdue. Yes, sir. It's good to see you, bro. Uh, but it's today, good to it's see you too. About me, it's, it's good about to see you. It's but good I to saw you too. last week too. So, yeah, yeah, well, we actually like we ain't seen each other in a minute. You yeah, know man. Saying? But um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know what to expect because the last one I saw you do, yeah, it got taken off the internet. So, oh know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah. but I have I have faith in you, man. I, I see you. You 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 really trying to push it to a high level. Shout out. We got to. We I'll got win. to. Today's about you. Thank you for giving me my flowers, but today's about you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's undeniable you're a motherfucking icon. Yep. You're the first rapper to do a lot of things in SA. Yep. And I don't think you get your, the flowers for that. Yeah. I don't think you get enough credit for that. Who you needs open, credit? No, for real. You open a lot of doors for a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Actually, um, let's do it like this. Because I believe you started a lot of things in SA. Yeah. When I say, I want to give you a soldier boy moment, right? When I say AKA is the first rapper to, you let motherfuckers know what you did. Oh shit! So you, I gotta say it. Now. Yeah. Ish, I don't know. I I don't I don't want to. I don't want do to do put. It too. Okay, I'll say it. And yeah. Then you you tell me what it is. Okay, cool. Okay, AKA is the first African rapper to have a sneaker. Have yeah, a sneaker. Yeah, line. yeah, yeah, yeah. A legit one. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was a dream of mine to do a, a sneaker with Reebok. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we built the brand together really nice. Obviously, it didn't work out like I wanted it to, but I used to sit in class and draw little pictures of what it would be like to have my own sneaker. And uh, I got to do that. So that's one of my dreams that I, I got to tick off, you know? But, you know, you're saying it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. But when you're the first person to do shit, yeah. things will, will go wrong. Motherfuckers will learn from you. Yeah. I, think, I think a lot of the things that I've done weren't necessarily the first. I won't say that I am the first to really... Infuse like quite a four four or or like tempo or be the first uh, guy to play with a band or whatever, but I definitely brought a lot of those things to the fore in ways which other artists had not necessarily done before. Okay, so, so not everything is a first. Yeah, but I would rather say the first to do it like that. Yeah, like I believe with the sneaker shit. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I mean the alcohol thing. Oh uh, man, that's that's undoubtable. Cruises, that's the first of its kind. Uh-huh. There'll never be another one. Um, the band thing, WHP had done yeah, it. Yeah, had done it, but yeah. I brought it to a standard. You know, like, uh, you only used to play with a band if it was like Devin July or it was the summers. I, I made that a, a week in, week out thing. And still to this day, a lot of, a lot of dudes are, are, are not even on, on that tip. But... It's what worked for me. It's where mm-hmm. I needed my career to go. I wanted to make the jump from just being an artist who performs in smaller venues. I wanted to become a festival artist. So, uh, you know, playing Cape Town Jazz Festival. I've played Cape Town Jazz Festival twice. I've done South by Southwest in the States. Uh, I've performed at the BET Experience, uh, Opie Copy, Rocking the Daisies, all of that stuff. In order to do that stuff, I needed to be a festival setup. And 
and and take take the music to a high level in terms of performance. And 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 the business savvy shit. I don't think you get enough credit because you, like I said, when you do a, a things first. You will yeah. sometimes. You yeah, know you'll what I'm make saying? mistakes. Yeah, you will make mistakes. And motherfuckers will learn. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For everything yeah. you did. But I see a lot of niggas got it fucked up. <laughs> nah, that's what I had to clear that one up. You know what I'm saying? Um, from face value. Yeah. A lot of people think AKA is arrogant, um, erratic, <laughs> a narcissist. It can be that way. Yeah, narcissist. Sometimes. But I'm here to tell everybody that shit is all true. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Nice. But, <laughs> but. but I want to tell people a lot of things about you that don't know. Oh, man. This is going to get deep. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let it get too deep. Nah, it's not going to get too deep. But I feel like um, I need to shine light on some of these stories that people don't know. Yeah. If me and you are doing an interview, I know you well. And I feel it's important that I just don't speak to you like a journalist. Yeah. I need to, I need yeah. to speak to you like the yeah, way like I know friend. you. Yeah. Do you know what I'm I saying? I mean, me and you have come a long, long way. If you, if I told you the way it started, I mean, but the way it started, I mean, we were pretty, we got on pretty well. We knew each other through comes and whatever. Obviously, yeah, you know the the whole beef shit. Do you remember when we actually first met? I don't, but I remember I uh, do. freestyling with your Gandhi Gandhi Square. You guys were Capellos. giving you guys were giving pro kid beats. Yes, and you, yeah, that is the first time we met. Me and you were freestyling with in pro the kid. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, in the whip. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you must have had a do rag on I think that <laughs> night. Because <laughs> that was the era. You know, back in those days, you mm -hmm. wear a do rag and one of those wooden rosaries and shit <laughs> from Mama Keep Keep, like a purple, you know, uh, Jesus piece. <laughs> that was the steez back then, you know? And uh, we kicked it off like that. And things are cool, but you know. Yeah. We're for one, Yeah, so. for one way or the other, I mm -hmm. just think it's a beautiful arc in the story for us to actually have ended up as the best of friends and have such a close relationship and, and such an honest relationship with each other. I think that's such a beautiful, like, um, like story. Yeah. It's a, when I actually think back from where we from to where yeah. we are, it's insane. Yeah. But, okay, cool. I said <laughs> I want to let motherfuckers know about the other shit they don't know about okay, you. Okay, okay, tell me. So, uh, a couple years back, uh, three years ago, there was an LX fire, right? Yeah. Um, people from LX asked me, yo, Tito, can you please help out with the LX fire? We need money. We need clothes. We need this. I put it out on social media. Hey, uh, LX5, if you can help, please help out. You were the first person to call me. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't respond on, 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 on my messages. You were the first person to call me. Um, you asked me to come to the house. You donated 30000 to the LX5. You said, yo, please don't mention it. We didn't take no pictures. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You said, come to the house. Please you gave me like a gang of clothes yeah. to donate to the Alice Fire. And I feel like that's like, people don't know that side of AKA. You I don't know what think, I'm I think that, mm -hmm. um, you know, as a Christian, mm -hmm. you, do, you do those acts of kindness. You're supposed to do them from a place of yourself. And I just think that, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I always try and help out where I can, but not all the time does it need to be in the public eye. You know, I think that, that's something my favor, God, God will give me favor because I'm doing it to, 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 to his glory. You know what I'm saying? Not for my glory to be out there shaking hands and, you know, there are times for a big check and stuff like that, yeah, you know, but, for a statement. But that's something I even forgot. But that's, that's, I, I, I do that again in a heartbeat, man. I'm not down with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, like we said, me and you were arch nemesis and then became close friends. And then the first song we ever did was um, Tico, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You hit me up like, yo, I got this beat from Gemini. Um, you know what I'm saying? This record, I think it'll be a first dope record that uh, we uh, do. Yeah. I'm like, all right. It was fire. Let's get it. Yeah, it was yeah. a fire record. Yeah. But what you probably forgot, this was my song, by the way. Yeah. You, you picked out the beat. But then when we, when we got the beat from Gemini, obviously I'm like, I'm supposed to handle everything. And you're like, yo, Tito, I'm going to pay for the beat. You, I know you forgot about I that forgot too. forgot about that too. Yeah, you know I'm spending saying? mad money I, on the I, art, I, I, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't forget. Like, 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 like yeah. people wouldn't pay for another artist's beat. Yeah, Do you for get what I'm me, saying? For me, it was yeah. also from a place of mm -hmm. like, I also wanted to see you with momentum. I also yeah. want to see, because if you're doing well, mm -hmm. and, and then I'm doing well, I feel mm -hmm. like that. If, if you got momentum and we were moving and we we're all working together and we got that kind of motion, 
for me, I, I, I'm not saying that you couldn't have paid for it, but I'm just saying, like, I'm the type of person, like, yo, this is our moment. We got to do it now. We got to make it happen now. And we made it happen then and there. So that's, for me, what it's about. It's about just making the best art possible. For me to, to see you just rolling, moving with your record, it gives me happiness, man. It makes me happy. Yeah. But- I love seeing people in my circle win. I just love it. Yeah, but and I've, I love seeing people that are not in my circle lose. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt like that was like really important to like shine light on that because damn, you got a, a big list, a long list, or is it like nah, that's nah, it? that's cool. We're, we're, I know you're getting shy now. You don't, you don't <laughs> yeah, want, I don't, don't want like, me to put all like that shit that. out. I but like I felt that. like nah, because yeah. I needed to put out some of these things that people yeah. understand you that you um. You're a man with a lot of substance because a lot of people might not get to see that. Mm. But with people close to you, we get to see that on a daily. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm. someone might be asking themselves, why is Tito friends with this nigga? Maybe those are some of the things that people don't know yeah, about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That I feel that I have to shine right, light on bet, it. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm all for you making me yeah. sound like Mother Teresa, man. No, you're not. Like I just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also had like another thing I was thinking about when I was like writing down my questions since I'm a journalist. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. So I was saying off yeah. camera. So this is how you rolling around now? Yo, relax, yo. Starbucks. <laughs> so can, can you catch El Tito these days at Starbucks with a chai latte and a and 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 a, and a small little laptop? Are you the type of dude who also the building puts it in a small little laptop bag? You got a little joint? Or what's going on now? Yo, relax, yo. <laughs> relax. So I was thinking uh, when I was writing down these questions, I was like. K, K is a legend. Uh, K.O. is a legend. Who's also a legend? Pro Kid. And I was like, fuck. The last time I actually ever saw Pro Kid, me and you actually had a freestyle. Gymnast. We had a freestyle session with, with Pro Jim Kid for Pro. like three, yeah, for like yeah. three hours. That was a lot. He passed maybe two weeks after that. Or yeah. Three weeks after that. And what people don't know, like I said, this podcast, I'm just put, I'm gonna put a lot of things to the light. Mm-hmm. Me, you, and Pro Kid had a freestyle session for like three hours. And we recorded a song on that day. Oh, shit. We recorded a song. Um, it was me, you, Jim. Pro Kid. No, me, you, Pro Kid, and Yanga. Yes, yes. But obviously, then that song uh. became Star Signs. Oh, yeah, for real? I know it was on that beat. Yeah, it was on the Star oh, Sign shit. beat. That is but, Gemini's but, beat. Yeah, yeah, but you... But no, for that time, you uh-uh, obviously didn't uh-uh. know. You just went and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and did a different record to it. Yeah, yeah. You had like a, a whole different motivation to it. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just remembered that. Like, yeah, I also crazy. forgot about that shit. I remember that session. It, you could tell that something wasn't sitting right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. There was, he, he had a kind of, I don't know, feeling about himself, an uneasiness, you know? So mm-hmm. I, I sometimes I think about Linda and I think like, man, the time that I did get to spend with him, uh, every time was I was just in awe, like very much mm-hmm. like I am of KO. You mm-hmm. know, like these guys are like still stars to mm-hmm. me. You know, um, and it's important that I never lose that. So I always think like, man, if he was here still, what type of music I'd be making with him? Mm-hmm. If Jabba was here, what type of music? And you know, we could have made more, we could have done more, but I think we we never really think that guys are just gonna leave, like Ricky or mm. you know, you never you never factor that in. Yeah, you know? we always think we got time. The funny shit on that same day. Um, I went to go drop off Pro Kid at his crib. Uh-huh. Five o'clock in the morning. He's like, yo, come in, come in, come in. Uh-huh. I'm like, nah, 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 dog, it's uh, five. Uh-huh. I just go. But you know what I'm saying? Two weeks later, he passes yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. always think that we have time and we yeah. don't fucking have time. Yeah, we don't, man. So it's, that's why this is important too. Yeah. I'm happy that we've made, we're going to continue making records and we've made records and we've collaborated, shot videos. I'm happy with, yeah. with our output, man. When, when, the, when the time is done, and we, you got a show, I got a show, and we on the same stage. We can hit like three, four records. Yeah. yeah. We've had a lot of crazy studio sessions. <laughs> and crazy sessions. this nigga, let me tell people, he's always trying to battle me. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what. Every time I get drunk, right, in studio, <laughs> this happens without fail. Because <laughs> Tito, he comes from a battle rapper actual kind of culture. That's actually the culture that he comes from. So every time, and I don't. So every time I'm drunk, right, and and I'm like, because once you start writing, my mind like is like starts spinning. I right, so I'm warm now. I right, cool. Hey yo, hey yo, you don't want it, yeah? Well, then I start. Ah, then he, then I have to like beg him to reply, and then eventually he starts, and it's it's always tough. What do you mean it's tough? Like, <laughs> now you definitely. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. Nah, say it. Nah. Yo, Keenan. Uh, I'm the best. I, hold up. <laughs> I give you your flowers, my nigga. 
I give you your flowers. Okay, you definitely a better freestyle. No, are you? I don't know. So I am the freestyle champ. Oh, okay, you gonna act like you don't know? Yeah, I mean right, you, cool. you tight. Let's move. You, okay, definitely. Right, let's keep it moving. Definitely kid. top top five dead alive. All right, let's keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep <laughs> let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Um, you've changed a lot too. I changed, I changed a lot. <laughs> God did. God did a lot. I like what Drake likes. <laughs> I like what Drake likes. <laughs> what the hell is he on? He's on some other shit. He actually looked like Kelly, like if he uh, lost fuck weight. Fuck off. No, man. if he lost fuck weight. Fuck off. <laughs> what were you going to ask me? You changed a lot. A lot. Didn't he call his album I Changed a Lot? <laughs> My new album is called I Changed <laughs> a Lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's yeah. get serious now. Yeah. Like I was saying, um, you've changed a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Stop saying that. Stop saying that. We obviously moved past our shit. We mended our beef. Um, but I've been seeing you mend a lot of beefs. You know? I don't know what's going on with the like AKA. What? What do? Uh, I saw you mend your beef. I was, I was so happy about this one with uh, Les. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I mean, was... Yeah. That's a deep one. Me and Les, mm. we, we brothers, we go back a long time. I wouldn't call it beef, man. You know, in, in, a, family, yeah. in a family, sometimes even with your brother, your yeah. mother, your uncle, your aunt, you know, things, things are not always smooth Like, And um, mm. my big brother, I love him, man. We all, we've all made mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, I just love him. Another one that I got to see. Another you. one. Another one. The maturity on you is getting crazy. What? Ricky. What about Ricky? Me and Ricky you guys had problems. Long. Nah, nah you me and forgot. Ricky never had problems. When? Never. Me and Ricky never had issues. Maybe yeah. on, on his side, maybe he told you something, but I never had issues with Ricky, ever. But how which, which, which that, period was no, this? No, no, let's move on. No, ask me. No, let's, let's move no, on. No, this is what we're here for. It's yeah. the LTO podcast. Yeah, but uh, let's move on. Ricky's not here. You know no, what I'm saying? I mean, I think Rest it's peace, important Ricky. to... Uh, no, but, but yeah. I want to... Uh, me and Ricky never had no beef. Okay. If you what what beef, I do, what I do... What I will say is, you know, you know, in terms of like suicide, mm -hmm. right? It's been very hard for me to process because, you know, I've, I've had my own experiences mm -hmm. with that. And it's very hard for me. It's a very hard pill to swallow that he's gone in that manner as well, you know? That's crazy. Something that I've, I, when, when, when you, when somebody uh, takes their own life, sometimes one, one of the, 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 the people that are left behind, one of the natural emotions is anger at the person. Mm. So on some level, I, it's because, you know, I, I had gone through it once, mm. obviously in a much closer, mm. crazier way. But some part of me just also feels like, man, you know, you don't ever feel angry. You don't ever feel like angry at him for, for, for that. Yeah, I do. Like obviously. for leaving us, like, because I suppose, you know, he's got his own things that he was going through that we didn't know about, but like, Damn, you know, you, you can miss somebody and be angry at them mm -hmm. and, you know, just be heartbroken. It's a fucked up situation. Yeah. It's always, suicide is, is just so fucking difficult, bro. Especially for the people that are, that are left behind. Obviously, you obviously relate to it from a deeper level because mm -hmm. you went through the same situation, you know, mm -hmm. um, with Anele. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to Anele. Mm -hmm. um, how have you been? I, I've obviously been speaking to been you. Speaking to I've me, been speaking up. to you. Oh, by the yeah. way, I want to thank you for some. Yeah. I want to thank you for getting me through some of those dark days, bro. You're definitely mm. one of the people who kept checking on me and, and helped me get through to the other side, man. You mm. really kept encouraging me and giving me strength and, and, and re making me remember who I am, even when I didn't remember, making, you know, I had forgotten who I am. Mm. So, you know, I, I, I've changed <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> Um, mm. because, hey man, that whole experience, just going through it, 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 it it'll always be part of me. It'll mm. always be part of something I think about every single day. Mm. It's something that you learn to live with, man. Mm. But I think you, like, you know, difficult times always builds character and wisdom. And I, I, I also think about it mm. in, in many ways, like, I'm also not fearful of anything now. When I've, when I've survived, not survived, survived is not a, the right word. When I've gone through something like that and, and start coming out the other end and start trying to live another normal or positive life again. Um, when you go through something like that, you don't really, what else, what's, what worse could happen? Yeah. You know, you mm -hmm. kind of think to yourself. So mm -hmm. 
I feel like I'm, I'm more, more ready now for the fame and for the pressure for the person I have to be than I've, than I've ever been because now I feel more humble. I feel more understanding that this music, AKA thing, is not everything. Mm. There's way more important shit in the world than making music, bro. In my life, making music is not even the most important thing anymore. I it used to be. Mm. Being number one on the charts used to be important to me. Now it's not that important. I like, I so like when you say crap, like very bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like I've seen the transition. I've seen yeah. you like literally be like I, I spoke to you last week. And I was like, bro, you become so mature. Like these last <laughs> two years, um, they say things happen for a reason, and it's always like, ah, okay, or whatever. What could be the reason for that happening? Yeah. But I've seen that change your character and to be like, um, a guy that's more thoughtful. I I couldn't even think you you could be humble, but um, it's nice. happening. Thank you for it's crazy. that. Uh, thank thank you so much for that. Um. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I could describe it. I, th- I, just, I, just, I, just, yeah. I just think that uh, mm. when you want to talk about humility, God, God sometimes, not everything happens for a reason. You can't mm. say that. I'm just saying like, when things happen, how you, how you react to it and how you deal with it, you can either take it as a sign, a lesson, an experience, or you can take it as this is going to finish me, this is the end of my life, I can't live anymore. You can take it as one of those two. And I just, you know, chose light, I chose God. God did! <laughs> um, after that, like when you were going through that situation, um, you got back on your music bag, you yep. know, um, you dropped the EP yep. with Costa Titch. Yep. Me and you had like a lot of arguments about that. We actually had like a serious, not an argument actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think Costa yeah. is also just doing that that EP. It was me coming out of my shell again, learning to be in a studio session again, mm-hmm. learning to be fuck all of that, mm-hmm. learning to be around people because mm-hmm. it was COVID. Mm-hmm. So we were also disconnected from everybody. Mm-hmm. I was all alone. Da 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 da. So it allowed me to get back into settings with people, interact with music again. If it wasn't for those, that EP and, and Costa and all the boys, Dubs, Del Cino, the boys, then I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. That was part of the process to get me to here. I had to come out of my shell, go inside myself, come out, and then, you know, blast off. Now, I see that now. Like, why I actually bring that up is obviously me and you, like, when you played, um, you usually send me your music before you put it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you send me that EP. And I like I always give you my honest opinion. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, this one, nah, 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 nah. Mm. Then me and you argued and argued. But then what I respected, no, this is what I respected. Um, me saying, okay, I don't think this one is the one. It didn't affect our relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can respect like a guy. Are there people like that? Yeah, like people be like, yo, here's the here's here's this shit, and like, yo, I nah, don't fuck not, with this one, and they're like, nah, and nah, like, nah, nah, nah Tito was a hater. Like, how can you say that? <laughs> but nah, you you put me on blast though. I remember. <laughs> you know what this nigga did, yo? <laughs> so he sent me this EP, and I'm like, nah, I don't think so. Why? And I think uh, you should uh, drop this. Uh, 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 uh. This guy, when the EP drops, the same day the EP drops, uh. you are doing some promotion with like with Costa. Yeah. You, you call me on the phone and you put me on speakerphone. <laughs> and you would cuss and teach. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yo, Tito, what up? I'm like, yo, what's good, baby? You right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, I'm with Costa, dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Probably like, tell him you think it's trash or something yeah. like that. <laughs> you said, tell, tell him, him you me. said our EP is trash. I'm like, no, yo. <laughs> but here's what I respect about Costa, too. He didn't take that personal. You know what I'm saying? Shout he didn't take Costa. that personal. He's- He's gone into his own other. Damn, he's doing crazy thing. shit. But he's still. He mm. said he got some hip hop records on the way, so I'm interested. It doesn't to even hear. matter, man. He's doing well. Like, I, like genre specific. Fuck, I fuck think, all that I shit. I think it matters, bro. It's not. It's not about yeah. genre. Yeah. It's about culture. Okay. Genre is one part of hip hop. Mm-hmm. It's the music part. Mm-hmm. Culture is everything. Definitely. The music, Mm -hmm. the way we talk, Mm -hmm. the way we carry ourselves, Mm -hmm. the way we entrepreneurs in business, Mm -hmm. the way we swag, the way we conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's hip hop. And that's why hip hop will will be here forever. So I think it's important to have the genre discussion because, you know, it's one of the elements. Keenan, do you want to go to the genre conversation? I know you don't. I don't want to do it. It's boring. Exactly. We've heard it on so many fucking interviews. Uh, Hip hop, piano, it's (laughs) enough. Fuck, man. Yeah. What do you think about rap piano? 
Oh my god. <laughs> what? Like, what is rap piano? That's what Reason says he's doing rap piano. Kenan, why are you starting it? I was asking. <laughs> How? Because he, you know, he, he, I saw, and Caesar, if you're watching this, if you ever get to watch this, I just want to tell you that I got the utmost respect for you. I, I love Reason. You know? I saw he was a bit upset because I said, switch the piano like vultures. I wasn't taking a shot at him. You're taking a shot at Casper. I was taking a shot at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. Bro, actually talking about mm-hmm. that, like, fuck. Like, now now that, you want to no, go into the no, convo. No, no, wait. No, I'm not talking about piano. Yeah. I know you, you took a shot also at Casper. Like, I, I told didn't. You about, come on. How did that, is that a shot? It I didn't shot say nobody's name. Why, why won't you niggas just end your beef? It's enough. You niggas have been beefing Why for like do you guys want us years. to be friends so bad? No, I, I don't, don't want understand. you guys to be friends. Uh. Can I tell you actually the funny shit that happened? I know you guys will never be friends. Yeah. A um, couple years back was my birthday, right? Um, literally, like, my birthday ends in 15 minutes. It's like quarter to 12. I get a call from you. Yo, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be the last motherfucker to say happy birthday. I'm like, this nigga, okay? Then... Casper calls me. I'm like, yo, do you know I just spoke to Keenan? That's so crazy. And I'm like, you niggas need to stop this beef. He's like, nah, it's not going to end. I'm like, why? He's like, Chiefs and Pirates. <laughs> you know? Chiefs and Pirates. So, yeah. I, like, I, I understand. Like, that shit is uh, never going to be uh, resolved. Uh, but, uh, well, I don't know. I listen. saw you niggas playing soccer. And high five. <laughs> like, <laughs> what was When you are here? playing soccer with someone, if yeah. they're on your team, yeah. bear, bear in mind, he wasn't even supposed to be playing that day. Okay. When they released the name. But anyway. Okay. He was there. That's fine. Okay. If we're on the same team playing for hip hop, hip hop doggo, mm-hmm. yeah, well, <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> hip hop doggo. Then if we hip hop doggo united mm-hmm. and he scores a goal and I'm on the same team as him, yo, we're playing soccer. We, all that other shit gets left off the field. But once we're off the field, it's back to it, baby. Okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> so you guys never exchange no words before that goal? When you play football, no, you, you don't have to talk please, to each other. Okay. Did you, did you guys speak before that goal? No. So the only time you guys interacted was, like, the high five? Yeah, you, you my teammate. Well done. Uh, so? Don't mean, that, don't mean we're best friends now. <laughs> like, everyone was relaxed. It's soccer. Like, disky. Relax. Okay, then are you suing the nigga? What's going on? <laughs> I, mean, I, can't, I can't talk about nothing that's in the legal process on public record. So you are suing him. Okay, I understand these jargons. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. I, you I know saw, about the legalities. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you post it up with Lakao. You know. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Are you coming out with a drip sneaker? What's going on? I can't comment on anything <laughs> in legal proceedings <laughs> right now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> AKA is dropping... A drip no, 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 no. Look, mm-hmm. there's a lot of entrepreneurs in the game. Mm-hmm. Me being one. Yes, sir. You being another. Yes, sir. The cow. So, you know, businessmen meet each other all the time. Is that you're going to leave it there? <laughs> yeah, man. You know what it is. All right. Let's get I'll this confirm paper. it for you Let's guys. Get this paper. <laughs> 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 that's crazy so that's, ah, that, I didn't say anything you guys please read between the lines I know we have a smart audience watching this read between the lines you know what I'm saying yeah 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 yeah. yeah. why are you like what are you looking at no 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 I'm just thinking man you're, yeah. you're gonna get me into shit man. I'm gonna get you into shit yeah alright we'll take it out you know uh, the editor I'm sure will take it out no there's nothing to take Cap. out it's just that you know yeah. I don't like to speak on, on this, uh, I'm not like other people Mm-hmm. I like to keep my business dealings, you know, or what's coming next. I like to keep my, my, my ops on their toes. If you, get, if you catch my drift. I feel you. I mean, my drift. I feel you. <laughs> let's, let's move on from the beef. Let's move on to something lighter. Yeah. Talk to me about, about girls. Girls. Yeah. Get up on time. I'm his own kind. Dog. How, how are you and Bungs? When was the last time you spoke to Bungs? Yo. I mean, like, I don't fuck with Bungs. <gasps> I don't. It's hectic. Yeah. I don't have any kind of You feeling. just bongs on my song, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Smoking that bong on your face. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Remember? Stretcher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bongs put all of us on a stretcher. <laughs> Do you remember Stretcher? Bro, that's... <laughs> I woke up one day on Twitter. 
Uh-huh. And everybody was on a stretcher. You, Les, me, everyone <laughs> on a stretcher. <laughs> but that was <laughs> that era doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but that era doesn't no, but exist actually, I, I just want to like. Now um, I don't, I don't have any issues with bongs. Me I'm too. Cool with bongs. I, I, but and I want to say fact, this. You know, yeah. shout out to shout out to everybody out there doing the thing in the hip hop game. Yeah, but I want to say this with Bongs. Bongs is definitely talented. He's definitely a genius. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not on good terms. We don't have to be friends. I just, you know what I'm saying? But I don't. Why have couldn't you and Bongs end the beef? Why couldn't you and Bongs end the beef? There's no beef, See? nigga. How irritating is that? Uh, no beef though. All right. Let's move on to something lighter, like we said. You said you want to talk about girls. Keenan, no, 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 I don't want to talk about girls. No, you said you want to talk about girls. I'm taking it there. I'm so this. surprised someone has never asked you this question in an interview. Yeah. Why are you always dating black girls, though? Why are you... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know. Why Why you got a colored baby? Uh, <laughs> Wait, come on. You know no, I'm, I'm the one asking questions. <laughs> I, I, nah, man, you know. Mm-hmm. Once you go... <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> once you gone, you gone. <laughs> you know wow, saying? shout out to black ladies. No, for real, but I, I really want to know, like... There's Besides no that, there's no answer. There's no answer. I've been with, I've been with mm-hmm. every race of girls. cap. Yeah. Yeah, well, not every, you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, I've had my colored girlfriends before. Cap before your time. Cap. Come on, man. I'm telling you. You asked the question. Now you calling cap, <laughs> bro? I'm gonna tell you. You don't know, know you. my life story, nigga. I know your you life. Know about my life. I know your life, nigga. Anyway, it's okay. Man. Like, but you gotta keep it neutral. So you know, I'm gonna let you play that card. Have you ever dated a an Asian an Asian girl? No, I haven't. <laughs> where do you find her? where would I date the Asian girl where do I find her oh he's gay <laughs> <laughs> ah that's fucked up what wait, no. <laughs> fucked up. you said he's gay that's fucked up you know why that's fucked up no, yeah, yeah. I, know exactly I take that back you. yo edit that shit out that's fucked up they're gonna cancel you bro oh for real yeah like yay like your boy Kanye Ish. I forgot I should have like I should have introduced you like yo super mega aka Kanye West because like what's going on with Kanye bro Kanye, I, know he's I don't friend. know. Some days yeah. I don't know where I stand with him. Some days I'm like, yeah, he makes sense. Some days I'm like, nah, he's just all about himself. But the one thing that irritates me more than ever and everything is, uh, uh, I'm just not enjoying the music, you know? You're just not enjoying his music. What's right the last music? Donda? Donda. You fucked with Donda, though. I did. Mm-hmm. And in hindsight, it was better than CLB. Do you see what I was saying? I told True. you. Didn't nah, I was. tell you? No, nah, I was. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, we argued on the phone for like three hours. But Didn't facts. I tell you? Yeah, no, it is. So I was right, right now you were. There we go. Okay. So now that that's finally, <laughs> that's on the air. So I mm. just think that, um, yeah, he, his message is a bit too scattered for me sometimes. He's, you know, I want my family back. And Kim and the, the Kardashians <laughs> stole my family. <laughs> and I had to call Travis. <laughs> Pete Davidson need a fine God. <laughs> like, come on. You need a fine God. <laughs> Yo, do you know the story about Roscoe Dash and Kanye West? Roscoe Dash manager. Uh-uh. Looking at your little laptop. He was telling the story on Vlad TV. <laughs> he was telling the story on Vlad TV. So Kanye West says, uh, do you remember uh, Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay? That mm-hmm. song of Big Sean mm-hmm. and Roscoe Dash. Mm-hmm. And uh, Roscoe Dash is like, you know, Sia or whatever. His manager was there. And uh, his laptop was dead. So he went to Kanye, Roscoe Dash manager. Kanye like, yo, yay, yeah, please can I, can I borrow your laptop charger? He said, no, you cannot borrow my laptop charger. And please wait outside. <laughs> That's Kanye West in a nutshell. That's your hero. Nah, he's funny, man. He's got funny moments. You know, he's, he's, got, he's got a, amazing uh, sound bites. He's got the most amazing interviews. He's got the best interview. But he's ignorant too. He's yeah, selfish too. Yeah, you know, what, 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 at the end of the day, we, 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 we in hip-hop. We rappers. We gonna, nah, we can't. We, we, responsible. Uh, no, man, come on. We're not, Bro, fucking, we not fucking priests, man. Come no, on. No, it's not about that. Sometimes we're going to say some shit. Our heart is going to be in the, uh, It's happened a lot with me before. Your heart is in the right place. You, you, you have too much emotion. And sometimes you say the wrong words, but the emotion is from a proper place. And, and you, you get yourself into trouble. That's why also like these days, I'm not really on the socials. Mm-hmm. I'm not really about the tweeting anymore that much. I'm even just like less on my phone, man. Right. And it's worked wonders for me too. Mm. Yeah. How, how often are you on your phone? Hardly. Hardly? Nah. 
Yeah, yeah. man. I, I, I can't. It, it's just too much going on here, man. Well, I am on my phone, but not on socials. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I, I, I learned if I, I, over the last two years, I really cut that out of my life. And it's been one of the most important things I've ever done. Mm -hmm. Imagine interacting with that flow of opinions about you, people saying things about you, your life, da, 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 24 hours a day. It's impossible. Yeah, and that's, that's not even real life either Yeah, way. if you think about it, why are all these kids walking around talking about they got anxiety, they got depression. Oh, anxiety and depression is up 25% over the last... It's because everybody's here. This is the thing that's giving you all of that shit. Man, no offense. Get, let go of that shit. Let go of that phone. And your quality of life will, impre will, will, will uh, appreciate so much. Yeah. Yo, talking about life. You're in a, a beautiful stage of your life in terms of like your career. Mm -hmm. you, you came back with a serious, serious motherfucking scotcher. For the motherfucking streets. That's what I do, baby. Man, that was like so beautiful to see. Um, you know why it was actually even more beautiful to see per from a personal point of view. Um, you said like actually this song has been done for a minute. You yeah. sent me the song like probably like you time. sent me the song like six a months year? ago, like nearly yeah, two yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And when you sent me this record, I was like, "Yo, this shit bangs, my nigga." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you drop it. The reception from the fucking first from day jump, yeah. was crazy. I think it's also because we dropped the video the same. Nah, it's not just about the But also because people were so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked really hard on it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. In fact, uh, oh, we having a little something at Rockets tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You must pull up. Where? Uh, at Rockets. All right. Yeah. We're doing a, a little cruise event. You know, these. Those, remember those little cruise events I was talking Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, doing yeah. another one. But tomorrow, we're giving everybody their plaques. So the record is, is platinum. That was, man, I, I need to give you, that was beautiful to see you, bro. Thanks, you know what I'm bro. saying? Appreciate it. Man, hey, you, hey, you and you, like, hey, dog, it, I know. Good. I'm not going to lie. Dog, yeah. that was like. And Nasty just floated on it. Bro. bro. Skated on bro. it. Bro, verse of the year. Like, no, I'm, for I'm, me, I'm, the wait, two verses up. of the year is either that or that. Uh, Maclera. Definitely. Sata. Sata. <laughs> hey, that one was too much. Definitely. We're going to call it. Yeah. Two best verses of the yeah, year. Yeah, for sure. Maclera boy. Yeah, dope boy, yeah. Yeah, that's my nigga. Maclera dope boy. Yeah, Not yeah, Maclera yeah. boy. Oh, yeah, sh damn. That's Galaxy my, my, boy. My bad, my nigga. You know what Maclera? <laughs> Maclera is my nigga. I fuck with Maclera. Um, and and SEC. Levens, yeah. You know what I also love? Mm -hmm. We're talking about the maturity. Like, look at you. Keenan is like not even bothered. Niggas will be like, Oh no, you are saying he's got the best verse, and that's your song. Yeah. The old Keenan maybe would have said, Nah, my verse is better. But the maturity it's and you, you, you are about the music. Nah, mm -hmm. I know you very well, bro. Mm -hmm. You are about the music. You don't care about the stupid, like, yeah. competitive shit. Well, you're competitive with other things. Yeah. If you beat Keenan with FIFA or whatever, you guys are going to play for 10 hours on team wins. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on from that. But Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's about what's best for the art. Mm -hmm. I've spent enough hard verses in my life to... No, I, I don't need to be the best verse on every song. Plus, I made the beat. Plus, I wrote the hook, uh -huh. and I mixed it, and I took the money out of my pocket to shoot the music video, and I conceptualized the music video, and so, you know, it's a team effort. I saw a clip from Nessie C yesterday. Um, he says on the clip, um, they said, yo, 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 Nessie, like your verse on uh, Lemons Lemonade is like the best verse, and he's like, yo, man, I don't get it. You know, um, I spend hours working on my bars and shit, and the whole country doesn't give a fuck. But I go, zaba, 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 and everyone's like, yo, that's the best verse. <laughs> but I don't think, I, I, I get it, like, why the whole country, do you, uh, I get it. Well, okay, tell me it's your perspective. The Sonics. It's the Sonics. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've heard Nasty in a pocket like that before. And I think that he told me, you know, he channeled a bit of Cool Cat, you know, uh, in there. And uh, I also hear you there, too. <sighs> hey, man, I'm not going to claim that. Um, but... He, him, just hearing him and hearing me on a track together on that type of tempo, that vibe with that silky smoothness of, of you know, that AKA sound, can't lose. Ah, oh, what a beautiful record. Fantastic. But now that's uh -huh. the tip of the iceberg. We got more. All right. Trust me. What's going on? Album is dropping Ooh. soon. 27th of Jan. That's close to our birthdays, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Me and this nigga. When's uh, your birthday? 29. No, the 30th, yeah. 30th. I'm 28, we are January curious. 30th. And but, he, but he born in 81. I'm no, born I'm not born in 81. You crazy, nigga. <laughs> and here's another thing that's also crazy. <laughs> our, our, 
<laughs> our parents, our parents, yes, are uh, born on the same day, like they have yeah, the same birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our moms. Yeah. Yeah, our moms are born on the same day. That is crazy. For, uh, why uh, why uh, were we beefing? What was it? July. Ne? Nigga doesn't even 16, know his mom's 16, birthday. Ne? <laughs> 16, man. 16. What are you doing? Mama Forbes. Uh, Kenyan doesn't know when your birthday is. I know that is. is on 4th of July. You on? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that just happened? I'm going to check it out, man. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama I'm bad Forbes. With, I'm bad, bad with dates, you know? Uh, no, don't play me like that. Don't play me like that. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Sorry, man. I love you. Uh, another time that I've seen like you change... Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, was when um, your daughter was born. Uh -huh. um, really? Did you change when your when your son was born? I did. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you what, how I changed. Not like completely, but like how I spend money. Definitely. Um, for sure. For like sure. now, I can't just think for myself. For you know sure. What I'm saying? For sure. One hundred percent. So you feel you 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 didn't change after the birth of your daughter? Oh. Yeah, you know, in ways, in different ways, I suppose, patience, patience, uh -huh. you, I learned to be more patient. Having a kid is obviously going to affect your patience. Um, understanding that consequences for your actions and your words are now don't just have effects on you. Um, but I've also been very fortunate. Cairo's mom is an amazing mom, so... Yo, you guys. It's fantastic. Best co parent of the year and shit. Ah, uh, we have ups and downs. Every relationship has. Yeah, you know. Mm. But yeah, she's, she, she's got a. She's married now. She's got a. A a, 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 a sister. Um, I also get along with Bongs pretty well. That's dope. So. That's dope to see. Yeah, man. They always say players get females, but I don't think you want some players. <laughs> yeah, I was never been a. I've yeah, been a you player. love hard, bro. Yo, I've never seen That's anyone right loves. Here. Yo, if AKA I'm loves you. I'm a lover, not Yo. a fighter. No, never mind that. <laughs> I think you love like really, really hard, bro. Yeah, but I don't do anything hard. If I go out and I say we're gonna have dinner, it's gonna be like two thousand rand sushi. Hey. If I say we're going uh, on holiday, mm -hmm. we're going to fucking Disney World. Do you know? Aye. If I say we're going to the club, we're gonna drink. We getting drunk. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if I say we're gonna make a hit, we are gonna make a hit. So mm -hmm. nothing I do is halfway. So even when it comes to Love, you know, it's, it's just, um, you know, colored yeah. boys. Yeah, you wear your heart in your sleeve. I yeah, know. Colored boys are uh, lover boys, you know. But they're not, uh, okay, no, let me not say that. Uh, Yo, uh, uh, colored guys will kill me. Let me not say that. Yeah. Um, obviously, the name of the album yeah. is already out there. Yes, yeah, Mass Country. Mass Country. Yeah. Why is it Mass Country? Because I wanted something that sounded like Mass Candy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, it's going to have a lot of South African traditional music influence. Some rap drums, quite the sound, bit of log drum, SA hip hop samples, dance vibes. So I wanted to make something that is for the country, mass, for the masses of the country. And it's basically like a love letter to, to South African music. Mm. Sounds good, huh? It's going to be you crazy. You practice that, Huh? <laughs> You've been no, practicing I practice that, like. that. I'm speaking from the heart. Yes, sir. I can't. I can't. I can't wait for that, man. January the 27th. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Is it because of your birthday that you decided to drop it then? No, you know DSPs and what and what and what. But yeah, closer, closer to the. Yo. Oh. And then you're dropping another single before that too. I'm dropping another single now. Now. When? 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 when can we expect this? I don't know. Uh, can video you tell the people who's on the record? Weren't you there? I think I was there. Oh, yeah, I was at your video shoot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can please tell the people, give us an exclusive, bro. Yeah, who's yeah, on the record? We got it. We, it's a record called Paradise. It's myself, Jackie, who's from uh, a, a lady from Ghana, who's very big in, in, in Ghana, and she's got crazy numbers, and she's a great you know, vocalist, kind of that Thames type of vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we got Musa Keys uh, and myself. You in the video, which is cool. You quite a video vixen though. Ah, hey? yo, 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 you need to I'm not gonna so. lie. You quite what video videos have I been on, bro? You've been in a lot of like, fucking tell videos. Me, tell me You're one. You're a fucking video tell vixen. Tell me one. I, there's so many. I can't. Because I'm think. pretty, don't make me a vixen. <laughs> Relax, yo. Like you a video vixen. Low key, I think you got the highest video body count. Ah, uh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got the highest video body. You got a body count. In more, in more ways than one. 
Because you also snack on the vixens, too. <laughs> Yo, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Not only are you a video nah, vixen, yo, kidding, yo, but yo. it takes a video vixen to catch a video vixen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tito, Tito is, you've always been, you know, the one talking to the girls on set. It's just your steez. It's what you do. Kenan, you're making me look very unprofessional. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> um, uh, and you say I'm the one talking to the girls on set. Like, do you want me to be rude and not accommodate the girls? Don't make them feel welcome on set. I will, I, tell, I will tell you, you are a good person to have on set in, keep, in terms of keeping the ladies entertained. Why? Because I'm a clown? Like, I'm a clown? Like, you seem good fellas. <laughs> what? Ha <laughs> ha. Like, uh, like, like, I'm a clown? <laughs> you know? No, so, I just have appreciation for ladies. You know? I know you do. I know you do. You've always been, uh, you've always been an R&B cat in a, in a rap body. <laughs> <laughs> Please explain what you mean, being an R&B cat in a rap body. I mean, you one of them dudes to, like, get your beard lined up, like, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of dude. Like, if your joints could connect, they would. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you know a hater is explaining me in that way what he's trying to say you know what I'm saying I'll translate it to cause I'm a clean nigga you know what I'm saying I've been bagging girls before this rap shit you know what I'm saying he doesn't want to tell you guys all that shit but yeah. it's all good you know what I'm saying it's yeah. all cool but you know what I'm saying I show you the love but you gonna explain that I'm that type of nigga tell that me, way tell me something mm -hmm. how long how long you gonna be podcasting before we get some new music out of you. When is your music coming? Oh, why are you putting me on pressure like that? Nah, I want to fucking know too, man. Didn't uh, you have a hundred ass songs or something? Yo, yo, yo. yeah. <laughs> yo, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, thank you for coming to the LT the podcast. <laughs> this guy calls me one we night. Are done. About, yeah, yeah, but you know. I'm like, yo, so when's your thing? Like, man, you know, sitting on like. 100 songs. Nah, yo. Man. Yo. Where the 100 songs? Kenan, thank you for coming. Um, nah, man. And seeing us uh, today. Is that really it? <laughs> Are we out of here? Oh, shit. You got me. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, cool. <laughs> no, because I was like, oh, can we dip? All right, cool. <laughs> oh, man. Don't play with me like that. Nah, but we can dip for real because you're trying to, you want some fuck shit right now. <laughs> 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 you're some fuck shit right now. You want us to beef again, you know what I'm saying? What else you want to touch I thought we were cool. I thought what we were like cool now. On? I thought we were cool now. But now, I want you to come back, actually, for your part two when the album drops. Yep. I want us to get into that where we can break down more things. Yeah. But uh, I appreciate you for coming, man. Thank you for Blessing us me, with man. your presence. Yeah. Um, you know what I think of you. For blessing us with your presence. Damn. That sounds like one of them uncle speeches. You dig? <laughs> I'm an OG in this game. I got you are OG. You know Yo, saying? listen. Yeah. Thank you for for this for 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 like it's it's really cool. I was gonna say like off camera, you know, you you gonna be the nori of this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm more if articulate and better looking. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that uh -huh. the culture needs stuff like this. This is not everybody can, you know. Yes, we we you and me both musicians paid mm -hmm. your dues in the mm -hmm. rap game, whatever, but. To contribute to the rap game, not everybody has to be a rapper. And for you, just I wish you nothing but the best in this new venture of yours. I hope the numbers go crazy. Yes, sir. I hope you get all the cheese in the world. But more importantly, I hope your family's healthy, man, and everything's just cool and chilled and sun is shining on you and you're on the beach sipping pina coladas, man. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful way to end it. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you to everybody. Um, for watching the LT the podcast, we'll be back with more heat. We'll be back with more fire. And yeah. part two by January, like you promised, you're gonna come back in January. Yeah, yeah, of course, man, of course. All Maybe right. I'll have my own podcast by then. Oh shit! It'll call me. It would call fuck shit. With <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out. Peace. Much love. <laughs> wow, that was so dope. <laughs> that was good, man. Huh? <laughs> Everybody came shit!